Again, peptides have, depending on whether you're a virgin user or a long-term user, anywhere from a six to 12 week efficacy cycle before you start getting antibody buildup, water retention, they stop working, you become desensitized to it. So it really comes down to you. Hunter and I now, when we use peptides, we get about six or seven weeks tops before we have to cut off because it just, you know, like for example, Tessa Morellin is an awesome belly fat peptide for men. But for me and Hunter, like if we use two milligrams of it, which is like, you know, two milligrams at bed, one or one milligram AM, one milligram PM in four weeks, we start getting water retention. So it's like, you have to realize based on your experience and your usage of them, like how it's going to work, you know? And as soon as you start getting water retention, you know, it's not working. You want to add anything to that? Yeah. The only, the caveat to that would be if you have to lose like 70 pounds, you right. really are not going to care about water retention, exactly. but you need to lose the fat. So like someone like that could stand out longer, but for Jay and I, they're between, you know, like five to 10% body fat pretty much year round. We want to like trim down from like 10 to seven, you know, like we can get like a good four or six weeks out of test morel, And then it's like, eh, you start to a little bit of water. And when you're, you know, 8% body fat, that shows a lot more than if you're 29% body fat and you need to get down to 15% body fat. Water retention is usually the least of your worries and you can continue to run it and get it. So it depends on the use case, but you know, the leaner you are typically like the shorter you're going to get, like the, the desired result, which is the, you know, perfect physique.